Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. Even after the UN Security Council issued a presidential statement reiterating deep concern over Myanmar's military coup and condemning violence against peaceful protesters, security forces opened fire on anti-coup protests and killed at least seven protesters in Myanmar yesterday. The UN statement lacked language condemning the military coup and threatening sanctions due to opposition by China, Russia, India and Vietnam. With the death toll from protests against the coup rising to over 60, criticism against the Security Council's ineffective action is increasing. The Supreme Court repealed the not guilty verdict for former National Intelligence Service head Won Sehun and sent the case back to the Seoul High Court. The top court explained the ruling came from a misunderstanding of the law about abuse of power stipulated in the National Intelligence Service Korea Act and the order one gave to the spy agency staff to conduct illegal surveillance on late Seoul Mayor Park Won-sun and former First Lady Kwon Yang-suk, the wife of late President No Mu Hyun, constitutes abuse of power considering the uniquely overwhelming authority and influence of the agency. Coupon shares surged 40% in its New York Stock Exchange market debut on Thursday local time and closed at $49.25, giving the company a market cap of $84.47 billion. The shares, traded under the symbol CPNG, were initially priced at $35 apiece. Coupon stocks began trading at $63.50 and shares hit a record high of $63.50 before falling below the $50 mark. This makes Coupon the biggest IPO in the U.S. this year and one of the top 25 biggest listings in the U.S. by deal size. Finally, in spite of concerns expressed by the U.S. and the U.K., China's parliament has passed a plan to overhaul Hong Kong's electoral system, with every member voting in favor of the proposal except for one abstention. The plan aims to ensure that only, quote, patriots who are loyal to China and the Communist Party govern Hong Kong. This decision comes just a week before a meeting between the top diplomats of the U.S. and China in Alaska. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you will also get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, our weekly sports update, followed by an analysis on the newly announced OECD's forecast for South Korea's economic growth rate.